Hello everybody. I just turned my screen around if you was wondering what I was doing. Um, I'm trying to do that so I don't look at myself, so I look at the camera at y'all. Good morning. I think it's still morning. Yes, it's a.m. It's 11.03 a.m. in the morning time on Friday morning, June the 10th, 2016. Um... I finally got all of my Mondays videos that I made. I made a lot of videos this past Monday of this week, the beginning of the week. Now it's the last day of the week, Friday. I made a lot of videos Monday. And y'all know I was having trouble getting them put up with YouTube. I finally slowly got all of them put up. Okay. Then I decided, okay, I'm still not going to make any more vlog videos or any other kind of videos until I get all of Gracie's video clips um, fixed up to put up since it's taken me so long. So I started working with that. I got a few of them up. The, um, the YouTube problem the way Becca told me to do, go back out, and the way I had started doing that, and it kind of started working. Well, it does. Sometimes it only takes one time going back and coming in, but then other times I have to do it two or three times, and then it finally works. Um, so I'm still working with that, still kind of having problems with that. So that's my, that's my deal. Now I have decided to make this video just cause I wanted to update y'all and let y'all know what was going on. And because I'm not actually putting these clips up as I work on them cause I'm work, putting it all together as one video of Gracie. So I got a lot of those to do. And with the YouTube problem, it's gonna take forever to get it done. So I decided to go ahead, you know, so they won't worry and wonder. All right, uh, I'm doing good. I'm not sick. I feel good. I have changed my schedule. I am loving my schedule. So far, it's working out good. I hope I don't jinx it. <laughs> if there's really such a thing, if that can really happen, you know. <laughs> um... Okay, I seen something with a big garbage can outside. Didn't know what it was. Still don't know what it is. Some kind of tall bottle looking thing. Oh, if I'd stop yawning. <laughs> okay, this is what I have done with my schedule. I am trying. Now it don't happen all the time every morning because, and it's not going to start happening and permanently happen that way the rest of my life because I am just not a morning person. I know this and I am okay with this and I think my husband's okay with that by now. Uh, I'm just not a morning person. I am a night owl. That's when my energy picks up and I like staying up and doing things, you know, like, so I love to sleep late. So even when I sleep late, I don't wake up all yee, perky and ready to go, you know, and all energetic and yee, let's go, let's go on with our day. <laughs> I'm still like, oh, I just woke up, oh, I'm hurting, oh, I don't want to do nothing, you know. <laughs> so, I'm not a morning person, but I am trying. To take my medicine early, get sleepy earlier, go to bed earlier, so that I can wake up earlier. And sometimes it works out, and that's good. I'm loving that. I'm okay with it not happening every time. So, what I have done is when I first wake up, of course I have to go to the bathroom, and then I have to fix my breakfast, okay? and eat my breakfast and take all my medicine. Okay, 
what I was having problems with, I was trying to do, I was trying to prioritize the right way, the, the important things that you're supposed to do first. I was, I was trying to be the good person that I'm supposed to be and do those things first, which is what you're supposed to do, which is pray, read your Bible, clean house, exercise, or exercise, clean house, whichever way, you know. But that's your most important things that you should do first in the daytime right there but with me not being a morning person that is so hard because to do those things I need to be awake be alive be energetic be alert and in the morning time I'm not okay so it just it wasn't working out So what helps me is while I'm eating breakfast to sit back here and watch videos. So I eat my breakfast and take my medicine and just enjoy watching the videos. I feel like that that is helping me to slowly get out of my draggy, blah, sleepy, awakeful first morning time. Do y'all understand what I mean? <laughs> okay, so even after I'm through eating and after I've took all my medicine, if I don't feel awake enough and alert enough, I'm going to sit here and watch a few more videos until I do feel that. Once I start feeling that away, I don't get up and do something physically. I still sit here in my chair, but I check my email at that point. Now I know watching the videos was checking my email because I get on my email. I don't get on YouTube. I get on my email because I have certain ones set to come to my email. So I open my email up, click on the video and watch it right there. But what I mean by checking my email is the other types. The emails, which is letters to read messages to read, comments from the videos to read, PM messages from YouTube, Facebook stuff, junk mail, other things that I might have. I go through my email and I check those. I open them, I read them, I reply back, okay, and send it off and then delete it out of my email. So I do that until there was nothing in my email box but all of the videos, okay. So I check my email. Excuse me, sorry. Then, and I call this time in my schedule, I call it taking care of the important stuff. Not the important, important stuff like reading the Bible, praying, exercising, cleaning house, but the important stuff. Y'all kind of understand what I mean? Because during that time, like once I have all the email done, there might be some shack stuff or business-wise I might have to do work on, so I'll do that. Okay. Uh, I'm also including me working on Gracie's videos to get them, you know, put together to put up. I'm, ca I'm calling that during that time. See, just like right now, I have one up going, and I pulled it up to going before I cut my thing on. And it's still up there. It still says uploading 0% and at the other end it still shows no time remaining at all. <sighs> Takes forever. I don't understand it. It used to not do that. What happened? Did I do something to my computer that I don't realize? Mess something up? Take some part of it out of there that's making it not work right? I have no earthly idea. But I don't like it. I wish it would go back to working like it used to. Anyway, because it's going to hinder me with making my videos and putting them up. Okay. Anyway, back to the schedule. This is going to be a long video. But anyway. So. I'm trying to think. After I do. I'm looking at my list to see. Oh, after I do the important stuff, then the next thing is to make my vlog video and if I have any other type of videos at that point in time of the day, because later, see, our mail runs noontime. And if I happen to get a happy mail 
then I'm going to want to, if I can, make it that day to open it and make a video. So that would happen later. But at that time, if I have any videos in mind to make, make them and start putting them up on YouTube if it would let me. So then, once I do those things, then it's like later in the day. It's close to lunchtime if I've gotten up early or maybe lunchtime. Or if I've gotten up later, it's after lunchtime a little bit. But I'm okay with that. And even if I get up late, I have got my, my mind set to thinking it is okay. Go ahead and do your schedule. Don't worry about it being late and you might not get everything done. Just do your schedule in the order the way you would. Do what you can get done. If it gets late and you can't get everything done, it's okay to let some of the things go. I am thinking, trying to think this way and make my mind, you know, get that in there so that I don't worry about it, you know, and I don't, uh, what is the, I don't stress over it, I guess, because that's kind of what I've been doing. Anyway, all right, so I kind of got at peace, if you want to say it that way, with that, okay? <laughs> All right, so the next thing after making my videos then, at that point in the day, I'm ready to get up and come out of my craft room for, for a while, you know. So I leave my laptop on. Once I get up in the morning and cut my laptop on, that's it. It stays on all day long until I go to bed that night. I don't you know, get on it, and then when I'm through and I go in there to do something, shut it down, you know, and then when I come back, open it back up and start it all back up again, I leave it on all day long. I just leave it sitting here, leave it on. I usually leave it up on my email page or whatever. If I've got a video going up, I leave it up on that page where the video's going, and then I go do whatever. Okay, so at that point in time, I have... And what is making this part easier on me and for me, and I don't rush through it, and I seem to really take more time with it, which is a good thing, is I go outside on the front porch, and I sit on that glider out there, and that's where I pray and talk to Jesus at. Then, after I do that, I come in, and I get on the treadmill. And I'll walk for a little bit. Now, granted, I can't do much right now. I've been starting out, I've been doing three minutes. Now, the other day, I just done two. Don't start. Oh, dear God, that dog tires me out so much, y'all. So, anyway, hey, okay, you okay. So I've been walking on the treadmill again, which is good. I need to do this. I want to do this because I want to get limber. I am so stiff I can't hardly move. When I walk, I don't even walk right. I don't bend my ankles. I don't bend my knees and legs and walk the right way. I walk stiff-legged. You know? <laughs> I don't want to do that. I want to be limber. I want to not be so stiff. And I want to... I'd love to lose weight, you know, and be able to do a little more. If I'm standing up long, like even at church, standing up for song service and stuff, my legs and feet get to hurting me so bad I can't do it. Sit down. That's pitiful, y'all. It's awful. I want to be where I can stand up for a long time and walk a lot. I want to get healthy where I can do more, you know. Anyway, um, till I walk. Once I get through walking, I get me a water, I sit down in my chair in the living room and I rest and drink some water just to rest up and get my breath from walking. Junior! What do you want? <gasps> okay, then while sitting there, after I've gotten my breath a little bit and kind of cooled off and rested a few minutes, not very long at all, I pick my Bible up. It's laying right there on my night my nightstand on my end table by my chair in the living room in there and I read my Bible so once I'm through reading my Bible then I get up and I feel like okay 
I have done in the first part of the morning when I woke up just eating my breakfast, watching the videos to help me get more awake. Then I went on and I done the things that I really care about and really want to do the most. <laughs> That's check my email, answer my comments and stuff, and make my videos and put them up if you can believe me. <laughs> Then, when that's done, I feel like, okay, I can go on and do the things that is that I'm supposed to do and need to do every day. The, the important, important, which is the praying and the exercising and the reading the Bible and then the cleaning the house. So, and at that, that's middle day time, probably, almost, or more so, because if I sleep late, you know, and I eat lunch late, when I'm, I have to have three meals a day no matter what, and it's usually more because I usually get something later at night, too. But no matter what time of the day I get up, I eat the first meal this breakfast. And later I eat my lunch, which is more normally around supper time. And then later I eat my supper, which is late, late night, you know. If I get up early, then I do a, a, an extra, a fourth meal late, later night. Anyway, so I get in the kitchen and start cleaning up the kitchen, doing some dishes. And I have been... I don't know, and like I said, I hope I don't jinx it if, if it's possible to do that. You know, and it may be because it's just new again too and I'm just starting to do it. I may, like always with all my other schedules, get tired and start slacking on it again. But I've been doing something that is, that's making it a little easier on me. When I first started doing it, I clean up the kitchen, okay? straighten it up and I do the dishes. I'll even make my bed, empty trash, put clothes on to wash, fold clothes, put them up, all the chores. Okay. <laughs> Anytime, because my family, my husband and my daughter, I don't even know if I even mentioned any of this any time at all to y'all in the past. But my mama always cleaned up right behind herself. She never left a mess. When she was in the kitchen cooking, if she opened a can, if she was mixing a dish to fix it, opened a can, she didn't just set it down and leave it right there, right then and continue mixing. She walked that can to the trash and throw it away right then before she was finished mixing her meal. Everybody needs to do this. Oh dear God, if I have a pet peeve. <laughs> this is one of my pet peeves. <laughs> Even though I hate cleaning. But this is why I a lot of times let it go. Because my family makes it so hard on me. They leave everything sitting around and pile up and make a big old mess. And then I've got all this big mess at one time to deal with. <laughs> if you throw it away right when you're through with it, clean up behind yourself, run after yourself as you go, you will never have to clean because it won't be a mess to clean. <laughs> so, if you open a pack, dump it in a bowl, throw it away. Know what I mean? You mix that bowl up, you put it in a pot to cook it, go ahead and take that bowl to the sink, run water in it so it'll soak, so it don't dry up and get hard in the bowl. My family, my family, my husband, my daughter, they don't run water in bowls, they let it get hard. They don't even put it in the sink, they just leave it sitting on the counter. They leave cans, they leave packages, they leave boxes, they leave paper towels. Ah! If they drop something on the floor, just like last night. <laughs> paper towel roll in the kitchen. There was only one or two paper towels on it when I had last seen it. I come back here later, I went back in there. The roll was empty on the floor. They used them all up. Probably went to put it back, probably just kind of throwed it down on the counter and it rolled off on the floor. Did they bother to be down and pick it up even to lay it on the counter again? <laughs> no, they left it on the floor for me to deal with. <laughs> Sorry people, I got a vent on a rant here. So, I have been like, 
cleaned it, you know, my, 